today's a very important day, a unique day, that is Sri Krishna Jatra. I always tend to meeting the Honorable Former Chief Justice. The reason that I knew that he comes from a farming community and the way he has been attached to the farming community. And the other day I was talking to an advocate, Bill Thomas, uh, uh, Matthews, Matthews. So he was telling me, Dominic, you know, there was a judge in the Supreme Court to whom you speak any English you want. You can speak a Tamil English, you can speak a uh, Marathi English, any English. He understands any English you speak. He don't want the British accent. So all the advocates used to feel very comfortable to converse with him. And he could take, give them that feeling, okay, you are with a person whom we can really discuss. That feeling no other chief justices of India or judges could give to the people feel that the language, the language barrier is one of the biggest thing in communication. And I tell you, everyone really appreciated the way, the simplicity. I don't see you will see any a simple judge than Honorable Sadashivan sir. I have heard a lot of story about him because since I read a lot, especially about this people, you can see the way he went back to, you know, if a chief justice or justice, the other day uh, we were discussing with some of the judges or advocates we know, he said, Dominic, you know, we spent 30 years, 35 years as a judge, advocates, everything, but in the day we retire and in one year we make the money which we did not make last 35 years. Arbitration. I think, is it true? But this honorable man, what he did, he went back to his village, started agriculture. He says, I'm a tractor driver now, I have a license. You'll see a lot of things he'll talk to us, which inspires any Indian think of agriculture. I think there can be no big brand ambassador for Indian agriculture okay. than the Honorable Mr. Okay. Chief. I'm really proud, sir. I think the whole of India, not only the world, the world will honor you. Because, in fact, I will be going next week to speak the International Federation of Agri Journalism, where around 80 countries, journalists, agri journalists will be taking. I will have a proud man to present to her, the Chief Justice, who is actually toiling with the farming. And every word, every feeling of farmers, you will reflect from him. I sat with him. He was telling the way he knows every farming, you cannot bluff you with the accounts. He knows from acre how much a farmer can get or lose that he will tell you. That is the way he is. So he has, the, I don't think anyone has so deeply entered into agriculture because I don't want to talk on much on legal because that is not my field. Our field is agriculture. No judge, no advocate can stand up if the agriculture fails. So now he has come as the guardian of Indian agriculture, I should say as the father of Indian agriculture, as a guide and inspiration and icon for millions of us. Sir, we are really honored and we will definitely feel that you being the guide of Indian agri community, we will scale up the way you took the professionalism into legal system, wrote uh, transparency and a feeling we can be heard by the Supreme Court. Now I feel the world will see Indian farming community also will be heard to the voice of Corbus Justice Chief Sadashiva Shah. So let us listen to him now. Please come. Sir.
lovable staff. First time I'm seeing this very young and dynamic uh, staff members of this institution. Good morning to all. Good afternoon. <laughs> all day. Uh, first I will uh, tell about myself, my career, that is judiciary. Then I will come to your subject. How I shifted to farming. I am glad to note that Krishi Jagran is uh, serving the Indian rural and farming community. Because the rural community, I don't think even the political parties are taking more interest. Only at the election time, we see many leaders coming to our villages and farming. But I appreciate uh, this uh, institution uh, taking more interest on the Indian rural and farming community for the last 27 years. I don't know how I missed when I was uh, in Delhi for nearly 9 years. I am also happy to know that it has emerged as one of the largest agri media houses in our country. Because morning when I entered, our Mr. Dominic has showed the languages with the highest readership, many magazines, including Tamil also. Now at the end I am going to subscribe this magazine. <laughs> I request them to send it regularly so that I can show it to others. Uh, the details and statistics show that it stands first among our rural and farming community. As a Kisan, I am proud to be a chief guest in this gathering. Then uh, my journey started as farmer son. Uh, my house is located uh, in a very uh, remote village, 15 kilometers away from my taluka, 30 kilometers away from my district center, 400 kilometers away from my state capital. From here, 1,300 kilometers. Traditionally, my family, my father, grandfather, great grandfather, all they are looking after my la our lands only. When I secured only moderate marks in the SSLC, here nowadays you say plus two, I my ambition was to join a, a medical course, but I applied for on merits, I did not um, get a seat. But one of my relative and friend, Dr. Bell Swami, he is a doctor now. Okay. He went to Karnataka state. You know Dabanagiri is there. Dabanagiri is one of the district. There one private medical college is there. And under management quota, he paid only 25,000. I am uh, telling about 67, 68. Then he got a seat, MBBS seat. From there, he contacted me over landline phone. He used to uh, inform me, he informed me, uh, he used to call me Sada. Sada, please come with 25,000. Now I will get you a medical seat. So very happily I asked my father. So if you pay 25,000, I will join a medical course. My father said, how is it possible for a farmer to pay 25,000 in one store? We are having a lot of lands, but not much income. So, don't continue your studies. I can say one farming farm, what is that, farm worker. In the evening, you take our cows and buffaloes. Then morning time, you spend some time with the other workers. Then you will become a good farmer in future. So that, that was his answer. Then I said, <coughs> no problem, I will drop studying a medical, but I myself with my mark sheet 
certificates i traveled up to madurai southern part of tamil nadu from there i heard uh, i went to a arts college that is in sivagasi you know sivagasi southern part of tamil nadu where many match factories and fireworks factories are there that produces almost these two items for whole country so i went to that other uh, college immediately they uh, admitted me of course not a, a medical or engineering or a degree ba economics three year course because i studied only in tamil medium uh, up to the last class uh, after joining ba economics i subscribed in english newspaper i studied english only in that day. then after finishing my ba i joined law course then i started practicing at the madras high court then you know at the age of 45 i became a judge of the madras high court very rarely i became then uh, after 11 years i was transferred to punjab and haryana and uh, in the latter course i will explain more then after spending 7 months at chandigarh i was directly elevated to supreme court and after nearly 7 and 1/2 years i became a 40th chief justice of india present chief justice jesse chandrachand is a 50th chief justice now from you know, 2013 to 23 10 chief justices have retired so i was appointed as 40th then after 7 and 1/2 months or 9 9 months i retired then when i was staying in my village i received a request from the present prime minister sir why don't you accept uh, the governorship for kerala then uh, i consulted though and so far no chief justice of india accepted governorship because chief justice of india in the protocol wise president vice president prime minister and the chief justice of india when i was in delhi when my car moves out of my bungalow the police people will inform number 4 is moving so they will stop all vehicle movements so that was the position i anyhow when a request has come from a prime minister i readily agree i maintain a good relationship with those elected government i completed 5 years and in september 2019 i returned to my village and started farming thereafter i will refer more details then uh, though i had an uh, opportunity to dispose of thousands of cases in supreme court just uh, few i am mentioning some of the path breaking i can say path breaking judgments which include reliance gas judgment you know reliance brothers ambani and his brother they have a dispute over taking gas from arabian sea indian ocean bay of bengal so at that time i was 2013 i was a chief judge of india no i summoned both the brothers and including their mother to the court hall all came i asked them to sit see you are own brothers and mother is also a partner why litigation so we we compromised settled even now they are taking uh, their natural resources that is the reliance gas in that after settlement we passed an order i mentioned one paragraph the natural assets like gas and petroleum and other things belong to the public in a, a country like us in india we have a well established public sector undertakings like ongc coal india at that time air india likewise so mention however it is for the appropriate government to consider and entrust these natural resources to the public sector in turn the profit will come to us that means public of course i made only observation because it is, these are all policy decision of the elected government so we left it but uh, i cannot say fortunately or unfortunately neither congress nor the present government changed their policy they are continuing any of that is not my, not my subject that is a reliance gas judgment why i am mentioning 
uh, we, in that I appreciated the role of public sector in our country. When I retired 2014, 26-4-2014, retired as the Chief Justice of India, in that address in the Supreme Court Hall, I mentioned uh, after one or two weeks, uh, myself, my wife, we are not going to stay at Delhi. We are going back to our lands in my village in western part of Tamil Nadu. Um, this news has come as a big, big item in almost all English and Hindi uh, newspapers. Then next, uh, one day after, ONGC chairman, whole India chairman, many public sector MDs, they came to my house. Number 5, Kishnaman and Mark, Delhi. My security, they said, without appointment, you can't enter. Then they informed me. Now I said, now I am a retired person, no appointment is required, let them come. <laughs> then I invited them. Why, what for you are here? Sir, we read a news item. You are not going to stay at Delhi uh, and you are going back to farming. <coughs> yes, that is the my decision. No, sir, you are the only judge encourage in public sector undertakings. We have thousands of litigations, arbitrations, legal opinion. Why don't you stay at Delhi? We will take care of your accommodation, vehicle, security, all facilities. Now I said, no, as a former Chief Justice of India, it is my personal view. Because other colleagues are doing, I am not saying. Now I want to, because why I have some reservation, even after opinion, giving opinion or arbitration, again that matter is being challenged in the High Court as well as in Supreme Court. In one judgment, Supreme Court judge has mentioned, unfortunately, this is the language used, the arbitration, the award passed by so and so, mentioning the name of former children, <laughs> failed to understand the basic principles of company law. That is the command from so I said, uh, I don't want to accept any work. I'm going back to my farming work. So they, after serving tea, they started moving. One person very boldly again returned to my seat. Sir, last request. We said we are going to provide all facilities for your stay. And uh, for ONGC, at that time, the officer said 14,000 crores have to be recovered. By way of arbitration, you have to do it. We know the last drawn salary of a chief justice. If you accept and stay at Delhi, sir, you may get 20 times of your last drawn salary. Now, I said with a smiling face, fortunately, my wife is not here. If she heard this, she may ask me to stay here. <laughs> now I said, not required. Sorry, I cannot. Then I left within two weeks. I left and settled in my village. After four months only, I, I was considered for governorship. That's why this Reliance Gas, now I mentioned. Then another important judgment is uh, uh, 1993 Mumbai bomb blast case. Uh, sentence in several, that was the first blast in India, unfortunately. Only the bomb culture started from 1993. Uh, nearly 265 persons died in that uh, incident. So the trial went for 14 years. 14 years one case went for. The trial court convicted all of them, including the actor Sanjay Dutt. Hoover man has purchased the AK-47 gun without a proper license from these persons. These persons are from Pakistan. I mentioned in the order itself how the, the, the plan was prepared, how they executed this or everything I mentioned boldly. Maybe that may be the reason. Even now they are providing Z category. Um, then uh, in that uh, that that judgment, uh, when this was heard by myself and Justice Chauhan, native of Delhi, the hearing went for 10 months, morning 10.30 to 4.30. No other work, only this, while 
taking food while going walk inside my bungalow i always think of this case then after completing the argument within 4 months i delivered a judgment confirming all the conviction and sentence uh, i have written a 1200 page the uh, law journal uh, publication publisher all india reported ar at nagpur in the rapper mentioned separate book this is the biggest case ever heard by supreme court till this day 1200 page this also there that is one another thing you might have heard uh, rajiv gandhi assassination accused case see i have no second thought the persons or person who killed our prime minister how to be cut executed they have to be killed that supreme court also confirmed their conviction they might have been executed but for the mistake of the government but after the confirmation of the death sentence totally about seven accused uh, our constitution as well as the international conventions india is a party gives several rights and liberties to convicted persons also so they made a mercy petition to the president of india mercy means karne mano sir they mentioned we have already served more than 40 years nearly 20 years our conduct and character were good we didn't do anything wrong please reduce our sentence allow them to release uh, allow them premature release unfortunately the central government particularly home ministry then home ministry did not process it put those papers in some drawer desk of an officer after 8 years only they rejected that was challenged by these persons that came up before me then after hearing the argument after referring uh, Inter, uh, then then we ask the attorney general why the delay of 8 years for disposal the attorney general informed through home ministry sir the occurrence took place at sri perumudu in southern part of tamil nadu and volume of records large lo loads of records are available in order to collect and bring it all to the home ministry it took several years then i posted a question sri perumudur is one hour drive to chennai 40 km i know from chennai to delhi daily 6 to 8 flights are there even if you put all these records in a lorry it will reach within a week to delhi so the reason our reasons uh, as per the home ministry is not acceptable now we have mentioned the india is a party to the international convention and as per our constitution even death convicts are entitled to several rights and liberties in view of their sentence already suffered in the jail they can't be executed we modify the death into life life means 14 years but some cases they say they have to be in jail till the till uh, end of their life subject to their character and conduct and uh, the immediately the then chief minister madam jayalalitha next day released all of them again that was challenged in the supreme court then last year only the final order was passed based on our my earlier judgment now the supreme court has released all of them they have completed 34 years so and in view of the report of the jail authorities they released why i am mentioning just to inform the youngsters our constitution give protection to even a death convict that is the constitution that judgment then uh, i had the opportunity of prohibition of manual scavenging during my time only i abolished we directed all state and central government hereafter no male or female to be allowed to enter the manhole and remove the block they have to use machines and, and clean uh, and in case of any death due to the gas or some poisonous the family is entitled 10 lakhs as compensation that is my direction another is uh, persons with disabilities act one day when i was hearing the case 
I noticed one advocate with the black class was struggling to say something in the crowd. From the dais I noticed, I called the officer, you bring that advocate. Then only I came to know him. he is a hundred percent blind advocate. That's why he was wearing a... Then I asked, what is your problem? Why you are in the crowd? Sir, I have a... I am representing dis disabled persons in India. I, I have a grievance. I want to mention certain things to this court. Then uh, we heard him. We issued a notice to Attorney General and all state governments. After hearing his grievance, after going through the statistics, we made an observation to the Parliament considering the statistics. At that time, the reservation for disabled persons is three. We, we did not direct. We made an observation. It is for the Parliament to take note of. Within a month, the then Parliament increased 3% to 4% reservation. And we, in that judgment only, we issued several directions. In all public buildings, government offices, apart from lift and uh, staircase, there should be a ramp for easy access for disabled persons. And in that judgment only I mentioned hereafter, no one should call them as the disabled. Only to understand I am saying, they are, they are to be called specially able. They are all experts in certain areas. So no question of disabled. So whenever I visit Delhi, their association people used to come and call, on, call and meet me and used to convey my thanks. Anyhow, that is one of my judgment. Then, you know, an important judgment is Member of Parliament Fund, MP Lab, uh, for elected MPs and MLAs, the Parliament has passed an act giving a certain crores, I think MPs now 6 crores, MLAs maybe 2 or 3 crores per year for spending this amount to the constituency. That act was challenged uh, by a party leader, um, Bhim Singh from Jammu Kashmir. Uh, he is having a party called uh, Panther Party. Panther Party in Jammu Kashmir, regional party. He, he challenged that act by way of uh, PIL that came up before then Chief Justice Balakrishnan and myself. I was sitting with him. Then I humbly made a mention to the Chief Justice, Sir, it is an important case. Judiciary has to face with the elected representatives. So it is my personal view, it should be heard by five judges constitution bench. He readily agreed. Then the five judges bench was constituted. I was a fourth member in that. Uh, on behalf of this Panther party, then uh, Attorney General, at that time he was a private lawyer. He argued from 10.30 to 3 o'clock. He convinced all the judges except me. Then at 3 to 4 o'clock, Attorney General replied, judgment resolved. Then it is a practice of the Supreme Court. In an important case, all the judges have to assemble at the senior judges' chamber. Here, the Chief Justice was the head of the bench. So all of us went to Justice Balakrishnan chamber. He offered tea. <coughs> then another, other four judges expressed, we have to pass this act. We have to set aside this act. Only very humbly I, I suggest, no sir, no brother, uh, uh, this act is a valid piece of legislation. I gave three or four reasons. Because I am the only person coming from a rural area, farming community, I explained to them. See, with this MP MLA fund, see, see the guidelines. Uh, for a village, they can, the MP MLA can provide road, street light, toilet, public toilets, pipe, um, drinking water pipelines, bus shelters, likewise. And if it is a ruling party, MLA or MP, he may get some favorable schemes. If that person is an opposition party, he may not get the good schemes. So I also explained, apart from that, Please see the guidelines. Uh, the MPR MLA cannot uh, spend money uh, as he likes. 
he has to first submit a scheme if it is a rural area the concerned district collector has to inspect if it is a cost of a metro a city like delhi or coimbatore or madras the corporation commissioner has to inspect and certify this scheme is possible feasible so the checks are there then another check is after completion of the work all the documents tender a work expenditure if it is a mp it has to be forwarded to parliament if it is a mla it has to be forwarded to um, uh, assembly assembly secretary so when several safeguards are there why should the please come sir uh, <coughs> why should the v court underestimate the elected representatives see after all they are elected by people uh, they they have to do lot of uh, what service to the public that is, that is the difference between lok sabha member and rajya sabha rajya sabha members they have no no need to go and meet anyone lok sabha means they have to touch the feet of a voter so they know the problems so i convinced all four they agree brother you are your reasons are well please prepare a judgment within a week i prepared a 77 page judgment it is a very leading judgment in that i complimented the elected representatives i i, I appealed to that all four judges also signed so it is a constitution bench judgment then uh, we delivered before my retirement uh, we delivered that judgment next day when it was published in the newspaper more than 12 mps with a bouquet came to my uh, residence now i won't mention their name all parties communist congress others uh, now i said uh, my people as usual they did not allow them then i asked them they are all elected members why should you keep them outside then i explained that is the correct way you not come and compliment anyhow we will spend some time then uh, they went back so in that i uh, i um, i mean mentioned the role of elected members maybe that i followed when i was a governor of kerala also that is one of the important judgment then if you you may not i don't know how many of you might have might uh, got the opportunity to vote when you see the voting machine last one is nota one person filed a very interesting uh, pil public interest litigation sir it is not some um one person has filed a now after finishing my work i will come to your feet <laughs> uh in that pil one person has mentioned see in my constituency take the delhi i don't know the area the congress candidate bjp candidate communist candidate or according to me not suitable not fit for contesting election how can i cast my vote i cannot throw it in a dustbin here raise is a very valid question then immediately we summoned the chief election commissioner at that time mr krishnamurthy is also from tamil nadu i asked him to bring that voting machine and demonstrate where these uh, these kind of persons will vote he agreed sir that doubt is genuine so we can put a last nota that means if you cast your vote on nota that means you are conveying to the political parties and public i am not happy with these representatives at least next time they will select a good people so that's why in any constituency nota gets more number uh, the elect the political parties will select a good people on next occasion that one another is vvpat uh, that means you put a button of one water how do you say that uh, it has gone to that water and your vote is valid some repetition that also we summoned election commissioner on on the basis of his suggestion we suggested now i think i think it is available all over india one small paper in the same machine will show it 10 seconds 
that candidate name, the symbol which you put a button. Within 10 seconds, you have to see whether you have put up you know, your, uh, your vote has gone to correct person. But thereafter, the paper will go down. That is also my order. Other than is also very important, the uh, candidates have to mention the properties movable and immovable of wife in the name of wife and uh, minor children also. Many uh, candidates before election they transfer everything in the name of other family members. That also we condemn. Then uh, I, 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 I am not going to mention more uh, judicial decisions. <laughs> Then I will say a few words about my governorship. During my tenure as a governor of Kerala, you know governor is the appointing authority for vice-chancellors of all universities. In Kerala, 13 universities. Though it is a small state, 13 universities. I maintained a good relationship with the government and uh, no difficulty. Uh, in order to encourage good merit uh, in consultation with the chief minister, I fixed 5 crore for best university every year. Uh, that is called the Chancellor's Award. For that, a high level committee, they will go and inspect their various colleges, their subjects, their student relationship, parent, others, then merit, etc. They will submit their report. Based on that, we will select the best university in the presence of Chief Minister and myself. We hand over 5 crores and a certificate. That encouraged every university to do more good things. That I did it. And uh, when I mentioned this in the Governor's Conference, the person, Prime Minister, who addressed, requested other governors, if possible, follow this Kerala model, what Mr. So-and-so has did it. I don't know how many of them are following. <laughs> uh, then, uh, my, then uh, uh, about me, I am not going to much because the law university has conferred a doctorate. I am not using doctorate before my name. Um, after uh, retirement, after demitting office as governor of Kerala on 5-9-2019, I returned to my village and started uh, uh, for me. <coughs> Originally, 20 acres of land allotted to um, to my two sons, each 10. Then in the course I purchased with my savings, I purchased nearby lands, totally 30 acres. I partitioned all the 30 acres to two of my sons, as on date, I am not owning any land, I am depending only on my pension only. Even that pension is 30% tax. <laughs> uh, this also every time I used to fight with the finance minister. But uh, they are simply laugh, that's all. Um, uh, after these 20 acres, my first son purchased 5 acres adjacent land. I also purchased totally 30 acres. And uh, cow shed with five cows, even now I am having five cows. Um, one servant quarter, one family of servant, husband and wife are living in, in my land. No shortage of water and there is always water in the well for good information because you people are uh, concentrating on farming work. In whole India, only in Tamil Nadu, Farmers are getting more benefits. In spite of it, no profit. For example, free power for all farmers, irrespective of pump sets, number of pump sets, inspect, irrespective of well and uh, extent, uh, if the power is used for agricultural purpose, no uh, charge. I am having five pump sets. I am not paying a single rupee every month. Number one. Number two, in Tamil Nadu alone, this concession is there. You know, in every state, for land, if it is a cultivable land, some more amount has to be paid. If it is a non-cultivable, negligible amount to be paid to the government. 
So DA or village administrative officer used to come and collect. In Tamil Nadu, they abolished this land tax. Only two rupees per acre, that's all. Why these two rupees? Just for the record purpose. So and so is holding so much of land. Only for that. My um, village administrative officer never come and collect these two rupees from me. I don't know. He himself is putting <laughs> that amount. I don't know. Uh, that is the concession. So after retirement, I converted the old farming. Uh, ten, as on date, 10 acres of sugar can, high, hybrid sugar can. Uh, within um, 20 kilometers, sugar factory is there. We enter into an agreement. Every year, they come and cut and take the uh, sugar can, but not profitable. But uh, oh, yeah, now, after retirement, every expense, every day, I used to write. Every income also I used to write, but not, uh, I am not getting even the expenses being spent. Then I thought we have to modernize. So from the well, I put uh, this uh, drip irrigation and sprinkler. I planted coconut in 20 acres. The distance is 27 feet. Uh, all coconut hybrid. Some from uh, Kasargod, Kerala, some from Madurai, DJ farm. Uh, now it is four year old, seven year old, just two year old also that. I am going to uh, plant erika net within these two coconut trees. It may give more income. So now as it is, only uh, um, sugar can, uh, uh, this one, uh, coconut, Erika net I am going to plant and banana in some areas are there. But um, in spite of getting free uh, water, free electricity and no land revenue, I am not getting uh, income. Uh, actually labor is the problem for us. So all of you must understand this right after the enactment of right to education act, Every parent has to send their watch to school. Good, I appreciate. But after studying 10th standard or 12th standard, nobody is coming to the field work. They want only government employment. Every day, minimum two or three persons are coming. Sir, put a word to the minister, put a word to the collector, this post, that post. Why don't you come for plumbing? Why don't you come for some agriculture? No. So labor is a big problem for farmers. Now last occasion when I met our Honorable Prime Minister, I mentioned, sir, issue a general order, this Mandrega, you know, Mahatma Gandhi Rural Employment Scheme, giving employment to rural women for, particularly women for, uh, 275 or 300 rupees per day, minimum 100 days, uh, the every village they have to give work to them. Let them divert to the private uh, land also. We are really ready to pay even uh, 50 rupees extra. But uh, some states have issued order. In Tamil Nadu it is not there. Now I am going to appraise uh, PM tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Uh, that labor problem is there in villages. And uh, then uh, about my family, I already mentioned two sons. Both of them are settled outside, so only I have to take care of the, all the lands. Then, very, I am going to inform the August gathering. Last time, I think November or October or November, when I met, uh, no, during uh, Justice Chandrasit swearing ceremony, I received an uh, invitation. As a former chief justice, I attended Rashtrapati Bhavan function. Then next day I met PM was in the election canvas. After two days I met him. Uh, I met our Prime Minister and spoke, spoke about the issues faced by the farmers. Then um, uh, at that time I conveyed to him, he showed a book. Uh, he used to call me sir. Now I am having a small booklet, one Modi with seeds, 
another book, Modi with the farmers, small booklet, printed in Hindi and English. He asked his secretary, give it to one copy to our friend. Now he said, uh, quickly I have gone through it, sir, good thing, but I know your schemes. You have brought, I have also brought the entire scheme, which is available in internet. I am going to hand it over to our office. A PM scheme, 10 schemes for farmers. I posed a question boldly to the PM. Sir, are you aware how many farmers are aware of your scheme? Whether they are aware of how to utilize your scheme, how to apply. For example, crop insurance scheme is there. But how many of you, but now last three years, I am doing farming, I am unaware of this. So why, what shall I do? He put his face like this. What shall I do? Sir, my humble request is, you translate all these schemes, the challenging features of the scheme. What are all the main important things? How the farmers have to apply benefits and do's and do nots. Uh, translate it in mother language, in Tamil, Malayalam, Kannada, Telugu, Odisha, Bang Bengali, likewise, not only in Hindi. It should not exceed, this 10 scheme should not exceed 20 pages. Maybe wrap your photo with the farmer. Give it to each house. Ask your officers, like um, water card or other card, let them go to each house, hand it over request them to go through it. Why I am saying, now I said the insurance scheme is there, sir, but no farmer is able to utilize. Then he asked how, then I utilize this. Even his officers are pulling my shoulder, sir, you are talking to Prime Minister, Prime Minister. No, I don't bother, I am telling only for the benefit of the farmers. For example, insurance scheme is there. You may not have that. Uh, suppose if I plant banana, at the time of harvest, if a small wind comes, the banana tree will get spoiled. It, 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 it will break. So, farmer may not get a single rupee. For that, when he plants banana, if he takes Prime Minister's this insurance scheme by paying that small home, he may get 20,000 or 20,000 per acre. Then PM said, why oh, you don't know, utilize? No, sir. See the condition. See the rule says the cyclone or wind should be at the taluka level. So the taluka tasildar has to uh, certify that in the taluka there is a heavy wind or heavy rain. Nowadays, I said, sir, in my village there is heavy rain. Within two kilometers, another village, no rain. So, the insurance company or insurance lawyer simply reject the farmer's application. Uh, without a certificate, he cannot apply for compensation. Then what shall I do? He asked, oh, Prime Minister posed this question. I said, sir, that level should be not the taluka. It should be at the village level. If the officer at the village, village administrative officer certifies yesterday or Sunday or Monday there was a heavy rain, heavy wind due to which many crops damaged. The science put us in. Based on that, let the farmer claim it. Now I suggested this should be, I don't know whether they changed that uh, class or not. So likewise, uh, so many schemes. Now I am going to leave these 10 schemes by the Prime Minister, uh, one copy I have brought to one extra. First is Pradhan Mandiri Kisan Sama Nidhi. This also I am going to say. See, everything all Hindi. See, other states and other age, they are not, I am not against Hindi. But it should be understandable to the people. So it should be translated in other language also. 10 schemes are there. In the 10 scheme should be translated in the mother tongue and give it to all farmers. This I am not going to mention everything. I am going to leave it this. Then finally, my request is farmers must get, get 
minimum reasonable price for that product. See, as on day, I am getting coconut from seven year old trees. You know what is the price of a coconut in my village? Now I have to touch the feet of a trader to get five rupees per coconut. Simply I have to beg. If nobody is there, I, I have to touch his feet. Otherwise he won't pay five rupees. How much you people are paying coconut here? Maybe 25 or 30 rupees. <laughs> they are five to seven rupees coconut, this size. See, farmer is not getting reasonable. Only the middleman, consumer also suffering. You people are paying more. Only the middleman who plucks, removes the dust and transports to nearby city, maybe he may send another three to five years, five rupees. So maybe rest, he only takes this middleman. This should be abolished. For that, see, sometimes tomato goes per kg three rupees, five rupees. No farmer will pluck and sell it. Simply they will plow tractor and plow it. So at that time, the state or central government, they purchase by giving minimum price, uh, make it other product, juice or soup, put it in a bottles or store it for one month in an air conditioned balloon, sell it after some time. So that kind of uh, action to be taken. And number two, when agricultural product is vegetable and fruits are more in number, this I said, respective government have to purchase those items for a reasonable price and store it and make another product or value added product for public use. Another is farmers must get good seeds. Seed is important, good seeds through the agricultural department at the taluka level or block level. They have to supply good seeds and fertilizers. Many states are even now they are supplying. And <coughs> plowing materials like tractor. For example, when I settled down in my village, I thought I, I have to use mini tractor because inside the coconut tope, coconut trees, you can't do, use a big tree. I put a sprinkler. This will give like this, water will spray and the spring miller. another is a drip irrigation for coconut. So I purchased a mini tractor, massive percussion, mini tractor. I purchased six plow, plow, then uh, rotavator. Rotavator means to, it will remove all grass. Then uh, another thing, crusher. You know if you plant coconut, many trees, many many, uh, so what is that, leaves, dust, so many things will come down. If you put those things in the crusher, it will make it as a powder. It can be used as a manual for my lunch. So all tractor, these two materials cost about seven lakhs. How many people are able to purchase? So it should be at the subsidized rate. The farmer is able to purchase these materials 50% less than what I mentioned, may be useful for the farmers. Uh, then there should be more spacious woodlands in each district for storage of harvested crops. I already mentioned. In my delay, even now during paddy season, the farmers they uh, collect paddy, put it in a bag. 50 or 100 bags, go to some public school or some playground, they keep it there. The government officials, they come, one day they may purchase 500 to 750 bags. Some days they won't. So where, by the time if money, rain comes, everything will get damaged. So there should be some good own or some storage facility at the taluka level. And while considering consumers' interest, government should not undermine farmers' problem in uh, producing various crops or food items. 
See, I am not saying the, the, start, the government work is so simple. It is the duty of the government to take care of producer, farmer. At the same time, take care of consumer centers. You can't uh, give, you can't fix more money for product. You can't give less money to the farmer. That is, sometimes, unfortunately, they import many items. So the um, the farmer may not get anything. So they have to take all the aspects. These are all the work of an elected government. No, I am not saying anything. Only thing, last four years, though I modernized my field, everything is uh, uh, even pump set. In my father's days, we have to put during rainy season at the um, uh, soil level. Then if the water goes down, we have to take the pump set and motor to the middle, then bottom. Very difficult, not so simple. If you see, it will take half a day and you are, we need five to six male members. Nowadays, modern method is that. I am putting my elect, electric motor and pump set inside in the belt. It goes down and uh, I need not shift. That facility is there. Likewise, uh, in spite of it, in spite of free electricity, free land tax, etc., I am not, as a farmer, I am not getting um, uh, proper profit. No, whenever I get a chance to meet the PM or other ministers, I used to inform. And they are also taking more interest. Uh, beyond this, uh, uh, I cannot do. And uh, our, uh, the, our institution, under the leadership of Mr. Dominic,